Dick, you got off to a great start today, but at the end of the day, a last minute goal costs you the, well, loses the full three oh, points. Be, don't, you didn't don't be too hard on yourselves. That's the expectation level everybody at Arbos, you know. Uh, we probably deserve to win the game. Um, you can't really back off people in the last 15 minutes and let them show crosses into the box. We were guilty of that. Uh, and of course, Blair and the next Arbos, the boys trickled five times and went in, and that's the breaks you get when you're down the bottom there. Uh, but we didn't get beaten. You'd be positive. Uh, uh, there's a wee, there's a wee bit to come out of it. And uh, one of the most important things is we didn't get beaten. Um, and I thought we didn't create enough to win the game. You know, chances now arrested quite a lot of possession, <coughs> but uh, didn't defend properly. And I'm really annoyed and angry at uh, dropping two points. Did you feel <coughs> it was the game progress certainly into that last 10, 15 minutes? Cope Say again. Seemed- Cove seemed to be coming more and more into it as, as we got into that last 15 minutes. Was it, do you think, well, was it, we're backing off people and, and you know, we're, we're looking for to run the game out and all the rest of it. And we, do, we, we forget that we don't um, do what we're good at and hold the ball up the other end of the park. I was very angry at the, the lack of um, discipline in our team to let them throw crosses into the box all day in the last 10 minutes. But hey-ho! That's that's where you are, and um, the positive thing is we did a bit, and uh, there's a, a lot of stuff to come. I can assure you, but we're sadly lacking in the forward area. Um, that's been evident all season, um, but I'm working on it. So you know, yeah. you I enjoyed the crowd today. I thought the Arbor crowd were fantastic. To have seventeen hundred. Mm-hmm. People here, it's <clears throat> it's a testament to how much improved our growth are. When you think that Cove only brought a hundred people with them, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, I just thought we locked them down. We could have won the game. Yeah, I mean the crowd support this season has been great, as you say. The average attendances are up, and the you know the, the whole community is behind the club. It's it's fun. no, that's that's who it is. I mean, we're yeah. still a part time club. Don't ever forget that. <clears throat> and we didn't you get above yourselves. Think that. You're going to do what you did last year. That's not going to happen. Your mm. objective this year is to stay in this league. And uh, at the moment, um, we're in this league. So um, I need to look at the whole thing, though, and, and see. I'm not sure. When I said, uh, you know, we put nine, ten players out, uh, and I'm not sure if the eight we brought in are better than the ten they went out, but one thing's certain, the ten had to go. Mm. Between loans and all the rest of it, that's the way football is. But uh, I know more than anybody what's in front of us. So um, let's go to Patrick Thistle next week and see if we can win the game. There's been some encouraging signs with players like Marcel Oakley showing up well. Ah, <laughs> he's already, yeah. Right, yeah. He's not yeah. like a kid. He came off the day because he was knackered. Yeah. He's only 19. Ah, he's a good player. Yeah. yeah. I've got to decide, Birmingham said he's got to decide if he's going to come to us for the second half of the season. Aye. Ah, yeah. um, really? You know, very, very um, evident to me that we need to get a wee bit more up front. So is that your we'll priority for the, the next window? Aye. Aye. All right. Yeah. Yep, thank you. Cheers, mate. Okay, cheers.